Hello everyone, and in this lesson for using the LBE Desktop Help Desk software, we're going to do a few different items starting with creating a new incident or job into the LBE Help Desk based on some information that I'll give you for our contact and details. If you would, go ahead and follow along as we enter this new incident. And To do that, we're going to enter a new job by going up and clicking on the new job icon, which is the fourth from the left end here. You'll see that, that opens up and we have our default information in there. So we're going to go ahead and correct what we need to change for our incident. Let's go ahead and enter the following information. Our ticket comes from our customer Gene Lopez. So if we go down here to our contact and we will select Gene Lopez. Now we have Gene's information. And the subject is that he needs help with a printer. So let's go ahead and put some information of that into our ticket here. With the information now entered in our problem area saying that our customer is calling uh, that they need help with the printer and we've got that information there because of the information they're giving us we're going to change this from an inquiry into a hardware problem. It depends on you but that's just what I'm going to choose right now. Now what we want to look at here for this part lab is how the date changes based on the priority. So if we look at our target date, right now we're setting at September, or I'm sorry, November 17th. So let's go ahead and play with this. We'll change our priority. Go over here to that field. Let's change it just to high and see how that affects our target field. And we need to save it. And you see that we're already told that we need to reset target date to default for a new priority. And you see that that has changed to uh, within a 24 hour period roughly. So it's going to be the very next day. Now if we go ahead and select a low priority and save. We hit yes. You see how that doesn't didn't really change here. Now I also want to point out once again here in our information located down here that if we uncheck the three boxes at the bottom of the form, the pass to, the preview, and the mail contact, if they are not unchecked, the help desk software is going to attempt to send email to our customer as well as to ourselves. So let's go ahead and uncheck those now. And we've we've set Bob to a high priority because it's our only ticket right now. So let's go ahead and save that. And now we have our ticket in. Now that you've seen how the changing the priority level changes the target dates, we're going to go ahead and define our job priorities and go ahead and look at that now because our help desk supervisor at our company has researched how to change the target dates and the time for various job priorities and wants us to change those target dates. What we're going to do is we're going to set a, a level one of urgent to one hour, two of high to two hours, uh, medium to four hours, low to one day, and very low to one week. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that now. Let's go over here to our system maintenance folder and expand that scroll down and click on priorities here and now you can see we have these three predetermined fields that were automatically created with LBE once we installed the software so now we're going to add our own and then change the number of hours for our escalation rules there so let's go ahead and do that now as you can see we have three out of the five we wanted uh, urgent high medium low and very low we have high, medium, low, so let's go ahead and create one for urgent and one for very low. To do that, just click on the new priority button here. And we will include our information here. In our sequence, we already mentioned, we want our sequence for urgent to be one. Uh, 
Our priority name is obviously urgent. Now we don't want to wait days on this, so we want to just wait one hour. So we are going to change this to zero and make this one hour. Now, for now, we're going to leave our automatic escalation here to 9999 hours. If you remember, that means that jobs in the in this category will get automatically escalated because there is no higher priority category. So because escalation is disabled, it will never get automatically escalated. So we'll just leave it at that for now. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And you can see that we have two in our sequence. We're going to change our sequence for high to our second sequence. And we want high to be two hours rather than four. Go ahead and hit OK. We'll change medium to a sequence of three. And we want that to be four hours as well. No days. I want that to be four hours. I also want to point out here that medium is our default. So whenever a new ticket is created, it's going to be given a priority of medium. If we wanted to change that, we could, but we are going to leave that to our default. So next, after medium, we're going to change low. And that is going to be our sequence of four. And here is if you want to just make the default selection, you could just check that box here. We're going to leave medium there. Instead of one day for our low, we want to go ahead and leave that. So that looks good. I will leave that as one day. And then we're going to select very low when we add that one to be set up for one week. So let's add a new priority. We're going to call it very low. This is not really affecting our work environment too bad. This could be like if a customer had a request for like purchasing some new software, evaluating this new software for a project in the next quarter. And that's where we might set this to very low. All right, we do want to set this up to one week. So let's set that up to seven days. Seven days, five days, whatever your operating hours are, you can go with that. We'll set that to zero hours. And our sequence for very low is going to be five. As you see, the number of working days, we're going to go ahead and change that to five just because in most of your help desk software, your working days are probably going to be five days for the five day standard work week. We have one day for our low, and you see our sequence, we'll go ahead and reorder that. Urgent, high, medium, low, and very low. So hopefully yours looks like that, and we have our hours set, our day set, we have our default set, so everything looks good for that activity. Having set these up now, let's go ahead and change the ticket we just put in. Let's change that to a very low. We're going to change our priority to very low, and we'll see if that affects our target date here. Hit save. And you can see our time has now changed. So if we change that to a medium, save that. Let's open up our ticket again here. We have a medium, and we're going to change this to a very low. We'll save it again and see our November 11th change to November 17th because it's not as high a priority now. So if you're just making that change, that's great. Good job, everyone. 
Now lastly, let's change our escalation hours here. Uh, just so you have practice with that so that you know how those how the escalation rules work and it, this varies from software to software but for our escalation rules we're going to change urgent here this is the highest priority it can never be escalated so we're going to leave that at, at our default 9999 we are going to change this one here we're going to change that to one hour for our category of high. So update the jobs when this priority to the next highest sequence of priority. So whenever we are overdue by one hour, then it will bump up to our next, which would be our urgent category. Let's go ahead and make changes to the other fields now. see here we are going to change our third priority which is medium to two hours we will change low to 12 hours in case we are over 12 hours on that it will then move up to medium and then lastly we'll change our escalation hours for our very low to 24 hours and that's it now you've set a sequence you've created new priorities you've changed the order of priorities the hours of priorities and you have created some escalation rules for your escalation hours if these are not met then they will then be bumped up to the next highest level it's a great job everyone hope this helps with understanding a little bit more about your LB help desk software